everybody. Today I'm going to be making a quick casserole bread cinnamon raisin bread recipe. It's made with the quick casserole bread recipe that I got off the internet and I'm going to turn it into a raisin bread. So what we're going to need for the raisin bread is two and a half cups of flour and one and a half teaspoon of yeast, three tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of warm milk, and two tablespoons of olive oil. That's just for the dough. So I'm going to repeat that again. One pack, one and a half teaspoons of yeast. Two and three fourth cups of all purpose flour, three tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one cup of warm milk, two tablespoons of olive oil. So, so now I'm going to start adding the ingredients to the mixer, and in goes two and three fourth cups of flour. The sugar, the yeast, and then you mix this for just a minute, and then you want to add in your wet ingredients. So then after you mix that for just a couple of seconds, probably about 30 seconds, you want to add in your wet ingredients, which would be the olive oil, the milk. So, you put that in the mixer, and uh, you got to let that mix for about four or five minutes. And then I will add in the raisins to let that mix for a couple minutes. All right. Oh, I forgot the olive oil. That would have sucked. <laughs> All right, and there's the olive oil. Okay, and now we are going to let this mix for about five minutes. Okay, so I let that mix for about four minutes. And now I'm going to add in my raisins and let that get incorporated. I'm not sure how long that's going to take, being I, I've never done this, so there's that. Not this way. I've never done it this way. So, take our raisins and put them in. And uh, we have um, one third of a cup of raisins. I put about a half a cup because... I like raisins a lot. So there's that. But alright. And now I'm gonna let it mix again. So I'm not gonna give you guys the torture of listening to it. I will edit it out. Okay. Now that I got my raisins incorporated, you wanna take your dough and you wanna put it on the counter and roll it out so you can put in your mixture and roll it into a uh, bread roll and then you want to put it in your pan and let it rise okay all right this is about what it should look like Second. 
Okay, everybody, I got the dough off the hook. I got it back in the bowl. So I'm gonna pick it up and put it on the counter now. And you gotta roll it out and make it into a square. And I'm gonna get you guys lined up so you can watch me do that. Okay, I have my dough out on the counter now and I'm going to uh, get a little flour on it so it don't stick very good. Don't want it sticking. I'm gonna take your roller roll it out try to get it squared it's not squaring too well but we'll get it hoping that this is going to turn out good. We can only hope. Alright, that's about a square square is going to get for the dough, I guess. Take some butter. Let me get a spoon for the butter so I can spread it kind of evenly. You get it all over the bread, the dough. to the edges. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then you want to take your cinnamon and sugar for the filling, which is three tablespoons of sugar and uh, let me see here oh one tablespoon of cinnamon and four tablespoons of sugar okay that's what I have here and you want to spread this all over the top as well try to get it around as much as you can the way to the edges. That looks about good. So, after you get all that on there, you want to roll your 
dough into a loaf that can rise. And then you want to put it in your pan. Pinch the edges really good. Take that side and lay it down. Put it in your pan. And then you're going to cover it. And you're going to let it sit. It says on the quick casserole bread to let it sit for 45 minutes. I'm going to let mine rise for about an hour and a half because I don't like the way it rose last time on the quick casserole bread. So I'm, I'm going to let it rise for an hour and a half. So after it's done rising, I will be back with you. Okay, I have let this rise now for an hour and a half. And it has most definitely doubled in size. So I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 for about 25 to 35 minutes and when it's done baking I will pull it out and show you guys what it looks like okay everybody I have baked the bread and now I just got to take it out of the pan and cut it and show you what it looks like and I am also going to taste it What it looks like. Beautiful. I'm going to cut it now and see what it looks like on the inside. Bye-bye.